Hey everybody, it's Matt here, your local friendly neighbourhood investor with a migraine sufferer. So I thought I'd do a quick video because I've had a review appointment with my GP today and some a couple of interesting points came up. So this condition gets on our nerves, doesn't it? So the theory came out of the appointment with my doctor that literally it is getting on our nerves. So what I mean by that is I told him that I've been experiencing some quite bad heartburn and I seem to have had that since the vestibular migraine first occurred. And I didn't think it was anything to mention for quite a while because I've had spells in my life of having bad heartburn. It's unfortunately a little bit genetic in our family. So I only really mentioned it today and I was telling him that, you know, that I was getting the heartburn and I've been had times when I felt a little bit sick. And he said, oh, this is interesting. So he, he came up with the theory that possibly the vagal nerve may be causing some of the issues going on. So if you've not heard of the vagal nerve, it's kind of like part of the central nervous system and it can, controls the behavior of your stomach. So when that goes wrong, it can affect your central nervous system or say goes wrong when it's upset. So let's, let's not use too dramatic language here. So it can affect your central nervous system, which we all know then can affect your vestibular system. So um, it's a possible hypothesis for what might be going on in terms of causing vestibular issues. So I'm having a little test done on my tummy, nothing major. Just to check that out, check the stomach acids in my, in my tummy. And this may be what's causing the heartburn. And then of course that may be linking into some of the dodgy breathing that I've mentioned. See, when you've got heartburn, we always take those, don't we? I'm stupid, I should have taken one of these before I start making this video, but I didn't. There we go, consider me told off. Apologies for the intermission there. So anyway, vagal, vagal nerve, I've seen it mentioned on some forums, I've seen the Facebook forum, some people talking about it on there, so let me know what you think. Have you been talked about it with a specialist or GP? Is there something in this? Um, you know, Is it perhaps causing some of the issues? Um, I'll certainly report back on the results of the tests I have done on the on the tummy i'll also report back on the tests i'm having done on the breathing so i am doing a two-week test to see whether it's pushed the vestibular migraine is actually affecting my breathing we think it may be that i was always borderline asthmatic and then this vestibular condition has just pushed me over that threshold um we don't think it's the medication doing it because um this kind of breathing thing started before i was taking any medication back in the days when i was totally clean of drugs so Anyway, yeah, the, the vagal nerve, mention it to your, your specialist, mention it to your GP and see whether there is something in that, whether that is, you know, causing some of the vestibular issues. Apparently it can make you faint and it can cause you to feel sick. And I do know that, um, well, I think once my dad nearly fainted in the theatre, don't know what he was watching, maybe it was the full Monty, I don't know. But anyway, the doctor thought that um, the vagal nerve may have been causing him to feel faint and actually almost go over there. So. It can be can be a tricky tricky nerve. It can mess with you. So something to consider, like I say, when you next see your GP. So anyway, I'll do some follow up videos on the stuff I've talked about today, and I think also I'm going to do a progress report video. Um, so um, to let you know where I'm at right now, following on from the chronic phase that started in April, and talk about some of the things that I've done and some things I've had done to me in terms of treatment medication that has probably helped me feel a little bit human uh, again which is what we all want don't we so watch out for that i, will, I promise i will do one um before long possibly the weekend anyway i better get off and um, don't know whether you can hear but um my oven's on the background here so i'm doing myself chicken pie for tea today um proper northern tea from a northern bloke um so I hope wherever you are you're okay that you're you know finding a way through these symptoms um, and that you're feeling more positive as a result of watching some of the videos and talking to other people out there on um, on Facebook and on, and on YouTube. Anyway, better go. Don't want to bore on too long. So remember, as you were, you'll be again. Okay, see you guys.